everybody, this is Laura Grimaldi and I'm here with your tax tip of the week. It's Wednesday and I'm here to talk about uh, these scammers that are going on because they seem to be getting more and more aggressive. So short but sweet, to put it in a nutshell, if you get a phone call, a text, um, and even, I mean, some letters are going out I've seen don't assume that it's legitimate. Either contact your tax professional or what I tell my clients if I don't have a power of attorney on them or they don't want to pay me to call the IRS, call the IRS at 1-800-829-1040 and just verify. Say, look, I got this phone call, I got this letter, call them just to verify that it's legitimate. And number one, if it's a phone call or a text, it is a complete scam because the IRS does not phone you. It, they do not text you. They don't even email you. They send you a letter. And that's the skinny on that. So make sure if you, if you get a phone call and they're threatening to send you to jail and you owe all this money, um, don't freak out. Just, I mean, it's, it's not legit. And the best way to kind of ease your mind is, like I said, to call the IRS and, and call on your account. Because these guys are getting really really aggressive. I mean, literally I know I posted in my blog before about how I got scammed like on the acting thing. I got this text saying I got a commercial for a Toyota commercial and then it was these people that they said, you've got the commercial. I was all excited and all of a sudden I, you know, gave him my information and oh, I didn't give him like personal information. I, gave, I had to give him measurements, which is worse than, to me, worse than giving out financial information. <laughs> so... I give them all that information and they say, oh, we're gonna send you a check for a, I don't know, we, you gotta pay our designer. So we're gonna send you a check and you can pay the designer. So cash the check and you send a check to this address and we'll send you where to send it. And the, I kind of was smart enough to realize that it was, it was a scam. I had the same thing happen with my Mary Kay thing. I mean, my mom just got a phone call from somebody saying she won $7 million. All right, my poor 84, 84 almost 85 year old mother gets a phone call from this person that's saying she just won seven million dollars and a Mercedes but they need her credit card information because she has to pay for shipping because they're gonna ship her the car well I, I mean she's she's a cynic on that anyway luckily so she called me and she's like Laura I just got this phone call and they kept on calling her seriously she made the mistake of calling him back and I had to tell her, teach her the whole rule of the star six seven to block your number if you're gonna call someone back. Um, I learned that by a relative because she was good at crank calling. But anyway, so there's that. Um, so yeah, they, they kept on calling her back. I think they're still calling her and I actually called them and then they called me back and they said, oh yeah, we, we need to talk to someone who's, who's more level-headed and I said, you're not, I'm not sending you money. We're not sending you money. Kept on, he's like, so you're not going to pay for shipping? No, we're not sending you money. You're not going to pay for shipping? No, we're not sending you money. The guy literally told me to do something really vulgar. So obviously it was a scam. So just be careful because I've had um, two so far in the last two weeks get phone calls, threatening phone calls for taxes. You owe this much money and, and we're going to put a lien or we're going to put you in prison and will be coming to your house. I mean, they make it sound like they're gonna to come to your house and drag you away because you owe, you know. I mean, sometimes it's a couple thousand dollars and you don't even owe it. So, just be careful. I'm gonna post this on my, I have my Facebook site up. Yay, Grimaldi Solutions. I'm gonna post it on my, on my Facebook site and then I'm also gonna post um, some links that the, the IRS has a lot of information about scammers on their site and numbers to call and what to look out for and honestly what, what the IRS does do and what they don't do. Um, because somehow these guys are smart. They, they can get, you know, they kind of figure out um, certain information to make you think that they know something. And don't give out any information over the phone. If they ask you any questions, do not give any information. Because honestly, if you think about it, I mean, if it was legit, they would have all that information anyway. So, um, so that's what I tell my mom. I'm like, do not give information out. So that is my tip of the week. Happy Wednesday. 
and check out my Facebook site. And if you have any tax questions, go ahead and post them on my wall on the site. Um, I go, I have it in there where yeah, and post it, I'll see it, and then I'll, I have to approve it. Um, and then maybe you can give me an idea of what to talk about next week. So that's where we're at right now. And I hope you had a great Wednesday. And I'll see you next week. Bye.